Hello there. This is Susanna. Welcome to the Real You channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and for watching my videos. Through this short video of today, I would like to reduce some of your doubts and your suspicion that tapping may not be an efficient tool for you. And I would like to explain why uh, sometimes you may not feel a dramatic change in your daily life after doing the tapping. First of all, I would like you to acknowledge one central idea that each of your problems is created by one central belief and then it is generated and maintained as it is in your life now by a set, that is by a multitude, plenty of ideas, beliefs, definitions, concepts, judgments that you have built in time since you were little around this subject. Until and unless we are able to bring to the consciousness most of these mental structures and remove the root, the central idea that created this in the first place, we may not be totally free from its influence and may not experience a real transformation in your daily life. As you're doing a tapping session as the ones that I am sharing with you here on YouTube, you will be addressing only a few of these ideas. We may not be able to go to the root of it, and we may not be able to clear all the basic and the most important beliefs that are keeping this problem real for you. Normally, during a private EFT uh, tapping session, we are able to reach much more and you are able to feel uh, more benefits in your daily life. Now, each time you're using EFT, it is like if you're cleaning your basement. Try to picture this. In your efforts that you're doing towards cleaning all these negative experiences, emotions, thoughts, etc., etc., imagine that you're actually accessing your basement, which is a big room filled with old furniture, objects, dust, dirt. And this room is so crowded and so full that you cannot even step in there. Now, when you're doing tapping, you'll be starting to remove some of these objects. Some will be heavier, some will be bigger, some of them will require more effort. Now, as you start cleaning your basement, the following thing may happen. After cleaning quite a bit the first day, you may turn around, look around yourself and see that the basement is still crowded. And so, it feels like you haven't changed anything yet. And then the next day you're going to clean some more. But then you may have the same impression that this basement of yours is still messy and is still filled with old crap, even though a lot has been removed. But you see, for a really crowded basement, you may need to go there quite a few times and you may need to put a little bit more effort to clear it. So when you're doing some of this tapping, and you may do a session quite a few times and nothing seems to change in your daily life. That is, you haven't won the lottery yet after three sessions of tapping on money. It doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It means that either there are several layers and layers and layers of the same idea. Or maybe you just need to look at your problem from a totally different angle. And this is what I usually try to do as much as I can with all these tapping sessions that I'm posting here on YouTube for you. I try to cover as many subjects and beliefs and possible scenarios and mental structures that you may have around that subject. Another important point that I would like to bring to you is that we are not used to see subtle changes. We have to face it, we are functioning at a macro level. Our senses are not allowing a subtle perception without the proper training of the mind, attention, and awareness. And we have also bought into this system of thought through which we want to see instant results. We want to take a pill so the pain goes away. And if it doesn't, that means that the pill is inefficient. So as you are not able to perceive the subtle changes that are taking place within you during a tapping session, although many times you could do, many times you feel this tingling and this shift in energy, you may right away conclude that this technique is not working. And 
You may tell yourself that nothing will ever work for you, that you're stuck, that you're lying to yourself and that none of this crap is ever going to work for you. But there is one thing that you have to understand, that in this cause and effect universe of ours, none of our efforts could ever be useless. There's no useless action. Every little effort that you're making when you move towards uh, an objective of yours adds up. And this in time eventually brings into that state of mind where you have more and more space within yourself. In that basement of yours. And thus you can reach more clarity and more awareness. And that will create even more space. And the more space you have, the more you can transform. And this is another point that I would like to bring to your attention, that space allows transformation. That the main tool of transformation, which allows transformation and makes it possible for us, is consciousness. And space is consciousness. So when we are addressing a very general subject through a five-minute tapping session, although most of my videos are longer than that, I'm not claiming that this will bring you an instant and dramatic change in your life. Although you never know, and please remain open to this possibility. But if that doesn't happen, it will nevertheless create some more space in your mental field. And that will allow more fluidity and more energy which will allow you to have access to more possibilities and more choices. But more about this in uh, my future videos. So thank you so much again for watching my videos and for choosing to be this transformative consciousness. And I'll see you next time.